a lot of colleges across the U.S., across the globe, have this culture of like live shows for these small artists who are just really trying to have fun and make people, you know, maybe forget about things for a night. There are so many people making so much music right now, and we live in this awesome world of opportunity where all of this technology and all of this creative disruption has allowed so much accessibility for artists and you know even people who don't consider themselves artists but are just playing around with making music. I'm Faith Kaplinger. I am a senior studying the recording industry track of the MPRI major. I'm a and r director and president of Brick City Records. And Brick City is basically a combined senior capstone for the MPRI majors combined with like a student org. We all work together as a team to kind of find these like gems in the Athens community and within the student population that we really want to highlight. A lot of the artists here in Athens are very eager, are very hungry to be creative and to collaborate. There's a lot of cross-collaboration going on between our artists too, which is really awesome, so yeah. It's really cool that like the Halloween show, you know, in the academic year starts closer to the academic year, you know, in the fall rather than the spring, so that, you know, these artists can continue to grow that, you know, it's kind of like a sneak peek of like, oh, this is, this is what I do, this is my music, this is how I perform. And people who watch that can watch them, you know, develop and grow throughout the year until their releases come out in the spring. You know, if we're talking about Brick City artists, but, you know, for other local bands and whatnot, it's like, you get to, like, watch them develop and become better and, and more performative and, and all of that. So it's definitely, like, a huge opportunity that I think a lot of artists definitely want to leverage and use as a growing point. Popped Off played such an energetic, like, charismatic set. It was so good. So I think in a way it really gave them that, like, oomph of like, oh, this is what it feels like to be on a stage outside in the middle of Court Street, you know, and they just rocked it out. I think they had probably a hundred, if not more people watching them by that point. You know, it was raining a little earlier in the evening, so not as many people were out, but they had a really good crowd. And I think that, again, like gives this really good sense of confidence that like they can like really play to a crowd and they have that relationship and that energy with the audience. Um, but also like those people now know who Topped Off is. That'll be on those people's radar, right? And there's people who are in, in town from out of town that I know for sure were like parents with their kids, you know, like come in to experience the block party. And that's another connection to take, you know, their presence outside of Athens, outside of Ohio potentially. So there's a lot of growth there for all of the artists, but, but yeah, especially Top Dog. The Halloween show is, yeah, quite literally just exemplifying that relationship. These people are coming down here, they're putting their fancy clothes on, they're looking good, they're trying to have a fun time and just enjoy music that they know is gonna be really good. And so now that's setting up an actual precedent that this is gonna be an annual thing for Brick City to be a part of the block party stage. A lot of people go to Court Street, you know, for a walk, right, or like for a drink, for a nice meal, and that is usually accompanied by some sort of music. And so you're, whether it's intentional that you're looking for that or not, there's always music involved in the activity that I feel like college students are engaging in, especially on Court Street. Da -da.